All right, aloha and thank you so much for attending the My Registration webinar. Uh, this webinar is meant to help you understand your requirements with the My program and how to register for the course that they're asking you to. Um, so before we get into the content, let me just um, introduce myself and then go over a few housekeeping rules. So my name is Connie. I'm an admissions counselor here at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Um, I've been asked to do a, a webinar uh, for the My program. So all of you in this webinar right now, you've been accepted into the My program. And so just a few housekeeping rules. Uh, this is a live recording, so I am live right now and I'm recording it. So uh, for those of you that are viewing the webinar right now, Friday, June 7th at 11.30 a.m. Uh, you're live, so if you do have questions, feel free to um, access the chat function so you can ask me any questions. Um, this is a bit of a one-way communication, so you can hear and see me, but we won't be able to hear and see you. So if you do have questions, you can access that on the chat. And so on your screen, um, if you kind of move your mouse a bit, you'll see a navigation bar on the bottom and you'll see the chat function. If you click on that, and you type in some kind of response, you'll be able to type a response um, so that everyone can see. So if you have questions, um, definitely ask it there. We will have time for question and answer later at the end of this webinar. Um, and I do have here with me um, two representatives from the My program. So they're here acting as question masters. So if you do have questions, um, they'll be the ones answering it in the chat. So you have direct access to the My program right now, so please take advantage of that. And for those of you that are viewing the recording later on, um, I'll provide their email and their number to you so that you can ask, um, you can ask them any questions there later. Um, okay, so with that, I'll just get straight into it. So uh, first of all, I just want to congratulate you on getting accepted into this My program. You were among a select group of local Hawaii students, and you've been selected to join this year's success cohort. So congratulations, and give yourselves a round of applause. Um, congrats into the university. And um, so as you may know, if you've read in your acceptance letter, MY is a program that helps local students in their transition to college by providing you with cohort learning via an introductory ethnic studies course. Um, so research shows that, F, um, sorry, research shows that cohort learning, especially in your first semester of college, it greatly increases student retention and college success. So what this means for you as students is um, by learning, um, taking the same class with the same group of people and having a mentor, it will greatly um, help your college transition and help you be more engaged with the campus, with the other students. And so in turn, you should be able to feel more confident in having a successful first semester of college. Um, so that's the purpose and kind of the goal of the MY program. So for those of you wondering, like, why do I have to have a mentor? Like, we'll be going all over over all of those concerns. Um, so recently you were emailed about registering for this ethnic studies course. And so in case there is any questions or um, questions about you know why or any confusion, I'll be explaining all the details. And if you have questions, you know, feel free to ask that in the chat. Okay, so first, what is ES 101? So in the email, um, if you've read through it, you might have seen um, in the text it says Ethnic Studies 101. Um, if you were just kind of skimming through it and you saw in bold, you saw ES 101. Um, that's actually a course. So ES stands for Ethnic Studies and the 101 is the class level. So 101 is the level one introductory course. You do not need any prior knowledge. You don't need to know what Ethnic Studies is. So if those of you thinking, well, I'm not majoring in Ethnic Studies or I've never taken ethnic studies class. I don't know if I'll do well in that class. Um, you don't have to worry about that because it's gonna start from the basics, it's introductory. Um, it's gonna start from the basics, so don't worry about that at all. Um, another question people might be wondering is, well, you know, what if I don't wanna take ethnic studies 101? What if that's not related to my major? Um, so ethnic studies, um, one benefit of being in the SMI program is that by taking this ethnic studies 101 course, you will actually be able to knock off two graduation requirements by taking this one class. So you're kind of getting two birds with one stone kind of thing. Um, so um, if you're wondering about what your graduation requirements are, we actually had a webinar uh, that kind of debunks and decodes all of the acronyms and um, short abbreviations for these different requirements for graduation. So if you've heard of a DS, HAP, um, Oros, um, 
uh, requirement or writing intensive requirement, we go over all of those graduation requirements in our previous webinar. So if you're interested in that, definitely um, get the email at the end of the webinar and email us and we'll be able to send you that link. Um, but if you uh, just, you know, briefly, you will get your um, DS, so diversification in a social science requirement fulfilled, as well as a Hawaiian, Asian, and Pacific studies requirement fulfilled. So uh, by taking this one class, you'll knock off two requirements. So um, that will you know, save you time and money by taking this course. So that is a benefit to you. So it's more of a good thing that you're taking that. Um, you'll also be paired with a mentor. Um, and I'll get into that mentoring part in this next question. So a lot of you might be wondering, okay, you know, when is ES 101, when is ethnic studies? You're given a list of six different CRNs. Um, you might be wondering what CRN is, so I'm gonna explain all of that right now. Um, so in the email, um, you are given a list of six different sections. So you saw, you know, section one, or first line has a CRN, some kind of number, um, ethnic studies, tells you the location in parentheses, um, so you might be wondering, okay, there's six of them, do I have to take all six, or what? what is that? And so each of those lines are different sections, so different classes. Uh, I'll explain to you um, how lectures and labs work. So typically, most lecture classes will have two portions to them. It will have a lecture portion and a lab portion. So the lecture class is the whole class, everyone that is signed up for it, so typically, you know, there can be small lectures, there can be big lectures, so you can have a range of maybe 50 students or maybe as big as 250 students in one lecture class. So that is a pretty big uh, class setting. And so because of that, uh, professors do want to meet with their students um, in more smaller intimate groups or lab sections. So labs are sections of the lecture split up. So for your ethnic studies class, all I think about maybe 200 of you are in my so 200 of you will meet in the lecture class in the architecture room 205 um, the room that's listed on the email so at I believe it is 10 30 you'll meet all 200 of you in a big lecture hall and then on Fridays you'll meet with your lab section so those 200 students will be split into six different groups and so those groups are your labs and you'll meet with your labs every Friday on Monday and Wednesday, you'll meet with the lecture portion, and the class time is exactly the same. So Monday, Wednesday, you'll have one, um, one big lecture class, and then on Fridays, you'll meet with your success lab. And in that lab, that's when you'll meet with your mentor. Um, so we'll get into kind of examples based off of different sections. Okay, so um, in, your, in the email, you've seen that there's different locations listed for each section. So this is where, you know, section number kind of plays a role into it. So let's say that you registered for section four. Um, and if you look on the email, you know, lucky you, section four will meet at the actual lecture hall. So on Friday, you don't have to worry about a different location uh, or a different classroom or figuring out where that building is. It will be exactly the same. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if you're in section four, you'll be in the same location um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But may, maybe, um, you know, you have class that is in George Hall, or you have class that's closer to a different building that is listed in one of the sections. For example, um, section six, it meets in Saunders. So let's say, you know, your first class at 930 is at Saunders, and instead of walking from Saunders to a different building, you want to stay in the same building, you can look on the um, list of sections and see if there's any of the sections that is close to you. And for section six, it's in Saunders. So if you want to stay there, you can register for that. So that means for those of you that are in section six, um, Monday and Wednesday, you meet in the lecture hall. The lecture hall is in the architecture building. And then on Friday, um, instead of walking to architecture, you will walk to the location of your lab. And section six, it says it is Saunders, room 242. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Um, that's typically how the college classes will go. Um, if you have a lecture course, you'll meet with them uh, twice a week and then you have a lab. Um, so that's kind of, that's how the college courses work. If there's any questions, you know, uh, feel free to ask them in the chat. And then again, for those of you joining us, if you're new to the, the webinar right now, um, scroll, kind of touch your mouse and you'll see the icon pop up. Um, click on chat and you can ask any questions you have in that chat room. Um, and we'll be able to ask, um, answer them for you. Okay, 
Um, so I hope that makes sense. Um, and then just to give you kind of a little funny story, a little anecdote, uh, when I was a freshman, I didn't realize that you had to attend both the lecture and the lab. So for me, um, I, for my history class, I thought, okay, you know, Monday and Wednesdays at 1030 or Friday at 8 a.m. I was like, why would I choose to attend class Fridays eight in the morning? So I was like, okay, I thought I had a choice. So I went to only the lecture portion. Come to find out a month later, uh, someone emails me, they see that they're my TA, they see they've never seen me in class before and that if I don't attend, I will fail. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to fail. Um, I didn't even know I had to attend this, um, this lab class. So I asked them, uh, where do you meet? I don't, I don't understand. And they had to explain to me, no, no, um, you meet with your lecture, but you also have to meet with your lab. And so in my lecture class, you know, I literally aced both the midterm and the final but because I missed a month and a half of assignments, quizzes, and tests from that lab portion that I didn't know I had to attend, I actually ended up getting a C instead of an A+. Plus. So I don't want you guys to be in that kind of position. Um, so definitely, you know, attending both is mandatory. So if you're thinking, well, I don't need a mentor or I don't want to meet, you know, on the Friday, um, attending Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all meeting times, attendance will be taken. It is mandatory, part of your grade. And if you don't go, you will be penalized. So um, just uh, make sure that you keep that in mind. You, you don't get to choose, it's, it's the whole class. Okay, um, so second, um, these six, uh, six sections are special. The six sections that you were emailed, they're only offered for the My Program. So if you were to go onto uh, your MyUH portal and search for, you know, uh, look for classes and you look at the ethnic study section, you actually will not see these sections offered there. Um, the only way you can access it is by going into STAR and searching for the CRN. So I've said CRN a couple of times now, and basically CRN stands for course registration number. So, you know, UH Manoa has um, many different departments, many different classes, um, and we have to register for that. So for easy, you know, record keeping and easy registration, every single course, every single section has a different um, identification. Just like each student in your high school, each student in our school, we have our own identification number. Each class has their own identification number. And so that's how you will register for classes. You need that ID number. So you were emailed um, the list and the list includes their each class's ID number. So I'm going to show you actually how to register. Um, if you're not uh, familiar with, you know, how to register for courses or uh, where to even start, uh, we do have webinars that show you through a screen sharing program how to register. And I'm actually going to do that in just a few minutes. I will show you how to log into STAR, uh, where to go, how to add classes. So we'll add a class together um, just so that you can see, you know, how to actually add this ethnic studies course and get you registered. Um, it is something that you need to register for on your own. And this is one of the requirements as being part of the Maya program. So definitely you want to get that registration out of the way so you don't have to worry about it when you start in the, in the fall. Um, okay, so it seems like in the chat, there's no questions about GPS. There's no uh, questions about the CRN. So I can go ahead and go forward. So this is the final and kind of last section of, of the webinar. I'm going to right now share my screen with you. So you won't see me anymore. You'll see my computer screen. So you actually see what STAR looks like. Okay. Alrighty. And then if you can see the screen, just um, maybe message in the chat and say, yes, I can see it. Okay, perfect. So you can see my screen. Let me just minimize one thing to the side and make this bigger so you can see it. Hopefully that made it bigger for you. Okay, so um, this is STAR. This is after I've logged in. So you would go to star.hawaii.edu, like it says right here in this link. It'll, ask, it'll prompt you to log in with your UH email and your UH password. So you should know that login information. That's the same as your email account. 
Um, so you, you log in and you are taken to this page. So this is a fake account. So this is um, some kind of like fake account. We've registered this fake student for classes. So you can see different requirements here. Um, so what you wanna do is click on GPS registration. That's how you register for courses. So click on that. It will take you to the registration page. After it loads, you can see, okay, this person had taken classes previously. For you, you would only see uh, from this area on because you're incoming freshman, you should not see anything else except for this um, upcoming academic year. And so you want to register for classes. So there's a box here, register, add or drop classes. So you can click that here. Let the page load and this is your screen. So once you register for classes, it will show you, um, it will show you, so uh, when you first log into this, you actually won't see this. I registered for the class in preparation for this webinar, so we have ES here already, but you shouldn't see that on your end until you actually register for classes. Um, but this is good because this is linked to Google Calendar, so after you register for all of your courses, um, you can actually see this through your Google Calendar because UH is linked with Gmail. Um, so let's say, you know, um, when you're registering from scratch, let's say you did not register for any classes yet, you won't see any of this. You'll only see this button, Add Personal Choice. So you click on Add Personal Choice. You'll see this is here. Select on Select a Course, click, and then now this is how you can search for classes. So you can look at all the courses from uh, different campuses, but you're a Manoa student, so you'd leave that at Manoa, and you leave it at fall 2019. Um, if you want, you can scroll through this long list of classes, or to make it quicker, you can type in a course, or you can type in a CRN. But as I said, for these six sections of my, you can only access them through typing the CRN. So I'm just going to, um, type in one of the CRNs. So one of that was 860000. So that is one of the CRNs. You don't have to register for that one in particular. You can choose whichever one you want. This is just an example. So after you type in the CRN, you're going to click on this search button. Okay, let it load. And then you see here, okay, just to double check, um, to make sure that this is the correct section, your instructor should be Labrador Roderick. So this is your instructor. Uh, think of Labrador. Um, check the email, make sure, yep, we see this is the instructor. This is a correct CRN, and this is a correct time. So Monday, Wednesday, 1030, Architecture, Room 205. Yep, that's correct. And if you want to consult your email, just to make sure the meeting time is correct, yes, this is a correct one. So perfect. This is the right one. If you wanted to sign up for this section, you can click on that. Um, and I already registered for this class, so um, it tells me that you already registered for it. Um, but if you wanted to register for this class, you would click on this button, and after that, you would check. You would select check out. Um, but because we already have that here, um, it is already registered for. So I'm going to just as an example, show you a different thing so you can see what it looks like when you register for a class. So um, you type in that CRN, you click on that, so the circle. So let's pretend this is your ethnic studies class. Let's, yeah, okay, so let's click on that. So it's blue. So in previous screen, you saw it was uh, open circle, make sure that you have that blue circle checked in, and you can select um, check out, and it will show you here. Um, this does not mean that you've registered for this class, uh, just because you see it here. Right here it says, don't forget to press submit. So we've only pressed check out, we did not press submit yet. So you will press submit here on this side. After you submit, you get this screen, just to double check that you're adding these classes. If you're sure this is a correct section, again, you can see the CRN here, so that's good. Um, if it's all correct, then you, you click yes, submit to add the class, um, and then you'll be registered. So uh, just make sure that you get this pop-up screen. If you don't see this pop-up screen, that means you have not registered for the course, and that it is 
kind of waiting for you in your shopping cart. Let's say if this is like an online shopping, you, you have to press checkout and then also press submit. So that is one reason uh, why a lot of students think they register for a class, but they actually didn't register for a class. Um, so let me just see if the any if there's anything on the chat. And it looks like um, there are no questions. So okay, um, no questions there. So if there's no questions, then let me stop my screen share. Um, and then I'm gonna have um, them provide me the the email for the my. Um, so Caitlin, if um, you want to, or if you want to just uh, say it out. Okay, so um, if you have questions, you can email them at access at hawaii.edu. So that is a c c e s s mm -hmm. at hawaii.edu. So if you have any questions about, you know, more questions about ethnic studies, more questions about the requirements, um, email them and they'll be able to answer all the questions for you. Um, I'll kind of keep this webinar going to see if anyone has any lingering questions, um, but I won't show um, the screen anymore since the webinar is done. So if you don't have any more questions, thank you so much for attending this webinar and for listening. Hopefully that made everything clear. Um, and if you have no questions, you can go ahead and uh, click on leave meeting to end the webinar. Um, if not, you know, feel free to stay in and we can answer questions for you. Uh, but again, thank you so much. Um, so we'll see you next time. Thank you.